Hello, Kirsty. Thanks so much for joining us today. Lovely to have you. And I'm very excited to hear what you and your health issues in the community, also known as HIC Group, have been up to. Thought it'd be a nice wee way to kick off the conversation if you could tell us a bit about yourself and your involvement in HIC. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having me as well. I'm really excited to be uh, having a wee chat with you. I know we've done a few uh, Zoom calls before, but this is quite nice um, to go into some detail. So my name is Kirsty Chapman and I work for Cast Milk Youth Complex, um, which is based on the south side of Glasgow. Um, I teach, um, well, I facilitate a community youth work skills class. So it's basically um, informal education with the, the two high schools in the community. Um, and it's part of their subject choices. So they pick my class as one of the classes. Um, and we do all things related to uh, youth work, community development, play, um, kind of issue-based work, things like that. But a big aspect of the class is the HIC course, which is Health Issues in the Community. And that's what kind of um, gives it its, its status almost, which is really, really good. So we've been doing it for about the past four years we've included HIC uh, in, the, in the class. Um, but every year, the young people, honestly, they just, they shock me. They absolutely, shock. and I don't know why, because I don't know, I'm always shocked by the amount that these young people just kind of, the ideas they come up with and the kind of projects that they want to pitch. So this year's project um, has started with, um, in my class, when a young person is doing well and things like that, I like to give them like a wee treat and it's a wee bit of encouragement for them. Now I've always identified as a youth worker, I identified that there's been issues in the community with um, hygiene poverty. So in my class, they get, if they do well, <laughs> or they've kind of shown in the class, they get like a wee gift like this. So sanitary products, deodorant and toothpaste wee small thing and it's um that young person might need it they might share it with someone they sometimes just appreciate it sometimes they share it with their pals um it's just the kind of the wee bit of recognition for them standing out in class but also the um kind of tackling that issue so see if that young person wants to discuss um saying by the way i, I would like some more um if that's possible um, then they can, they can do that. It's kind of opening up that wee door. So we cover lots of issues and one of the groups um, in our group work project was saying that hygiene poverty is a massive thing just now and it's even more of an issue because lots of people have been furloughed because of COVID. So the furlough is when people get 80% of their wages. So that is all right if you have a full-time contract and you are surviving and you're quite comfortable before so then that's fine you're you're still kind of above the bread line but lots of the young people in my community's family work on zero hour contracts so that either not eligible for furlough or they have low contracts so maybe they have a four hour contract or a 16 hour contract but they work a full-time job when their work is shut they will only get what they're contracted to. So say I worked 35 hours a week and that's how I put food on the table, heated the house and got my toiletries. I'm not getting that because I'm getting furloughed and I only get what the hours I'm contracted to. And then you only get 80% of that. So again, it's even shorter. So we were having a big discussion in the class about who this impacts and how does that affect and how no one is kind of uh, not affected by COVID. It's, it's no, um, it discriminates against everybody really. Um, so then they wanted to address this. And because there is um, lots of food banks in the area, um, they wanted to provide a specific uh, resource, which would be a hygiene bank. And we we're having a conversation about how would that happen? And um, we were looking at some celebrities that were running some projects and we're like, oh, how does that work? And like, okay, we could we could we do an event? Could we um, 
get some donations. Then, obviously, in the run up to Christmas, we were asking uh, local organisations if they could, instead of buying your colleague a wee daft, like Christmas hat or tin of biscuits for your boss or something like that, instead spend that five or all that tenner, whatever you would normally put in your secret Santa, towards um, toiletries for a young person. Now this started as you could buy like a, a wee link set or a, like um, a wee dove set or things like that because we were linking it to the shops that were nearby so it was accessible because we were thinking very small scale in the community. So we asked the local primary schools, local high schools, nurseries, um, we are part of Cast Them Up Together which is all the local kind of youth agencies as well um, and then it just grew and it's honestly the quickest and the craziest uh, time ever. So it's grew from people buying sets to then them buying individual items to then from this bag that I gave out in class to now growing to a month's worth of toiletries which come in a massive bag like this and it's, it's so heavy. <laughs> Um, and it's all donations, all of it, every single bit. The only thing that was purchased was the canvas bags that it comes in. Um, lots of the young people weren't, weren't wanting to use like one use bags because we were chatting about the environment and things like that. But they also wanted these um, young people that access the bags to be able to have a shopping bag. And there was a big, big discussion about it being maybe like, oh, that looks like a, a charity bag or, um, so we were like, we don't want to put anything on it. We just wanted to be plain. Um, so the, the group came together and they applied for a community chest fund, which one of the local housings was um, running and they applied for the money to get the bags. And they were like, if we get some bags and we do donations, let's try and get 50 bags. That's like a classroom of pupils maybe two classrooms. Then the housing gave us the full amount of money and we got um, 300 canvas bags bought for us, just the bags. And I was like, right, well, it's good. We can use them for other things. And we're thinking, right, what else can we use them for? But actually, when we advertised on social media and we were telling people and we were sharing it on our own personal social media, the class, myself, my colleagues, the donations were rolling in and they were rolling in in massive, massive bags. And it was just crazy, honestly crazy. So we had set up um, the drop-in in the youth complex. Uh, it's like a Santa's workshop. <laughs> We've got like an area for toothpaste, we've got an area for uh, toothbrushes, we've got uh, Santa products, we've got honestly it's it's overwhelming the amount of people that have came out and kind of got involved and we based it on organisations because we didn't want to ask anybody that wasn't um, being able to kind of contribute or maybe was struggling but the amount of people that contacted and says, if my organisation doesn't allow this due to COVID, because they didn't want a box in the office or things like that, which is totally fine, can I do it myself? There's been closes, like so four women in a close organised a collection at the bottom of the close. There's uh, the churches and um, the chapel and like all the other, like doesn't matter what religion you're from, they were all donating. And we've worked with all the other agencies and they've just donated as, um, as a team, uh, individually, uh, their family members. I've had people in the schools, grannies <laughs> donate. <laughs> um, I've had my friends and family, so I don't stay in Castamilk, but Castamilk is my community, I feel. Um, and I've had my friends and family uh, donate and people that I maybe went to uni with or college and things like that and it's went so far out of Castamilk that it's unbelievable it's just crazy every year we have like a Christmas dinner event um, because lots of young people don't don't have that we, they don't have the sit down meal thing that we would maybe take uh, take for granted and every year we try and give out a wee something 
but because this has became so big that this is what this is part of the things that we're, we're giving out and it's just it's just crazy it is honestly outstanding and because we can't have the sit down meal that we would normally have we're having it outside <laughs> and we're having it in like a like a Christmas market event and the young people are going to be handing out the bags then um, and there's a variation of bags so there's bags that are um, like maybe for somebody that's got lots of girls in the house with long long hair and they need lots of support and they need um, maybe they're of a certain age and they need lots of sanitary products and things or there could be a bag where it's all guys that are in the house um, and there was a big debate of does a guy use conditioner does he not <laughs> does he want it should they have the option um, and then there was a conversation of uh, if we don't get shaving foam, if we give all the girls an extra uh, conditioner and we put in a pack about using conditioner for shaving because it's like moisturiser, so then you're doubling up and being resourceful. And it was just amazing how these young people were just like on the ball thinking of all these solutions to um, just help everybody. It's just been honestly honestly so overwhelming and it's lovely it's lovely to see that it's all started from this this wee bag Sad. <laughs> that's so oh my god amazing Kirsty. like to spark from that kind of incentive that you give out to your students and it's like if you give young people space to be creative and just the ideas just come flooding in amazing um, can you tell us the overall impact of the whole process it's had on the group? So the it was um, initially started by one of the group work projects because we have the two schools and because they need to work in or two separate bubbles and things like that. Um, they we split them up into smaller smaller groups and. There was, there's a few groups doing lots of different group work projects but it's now grown to become a full class project because the rest of them and their other group works were like right, I'll bring in some deodorant and I'll bring in some shampoo and my mum is going to ask her work and they'll bring it in not that right okay and they're like right I'll do your survey for your group work because you've brought something in from my group work and it's been really nice that way but the amount of people that have been in the class that have says oh I, um somebody shared that and uh, they've shared it on twitter and then it's went further away and she's like ah, my, my dance teacher uh, i'll be on the other side of the city's been talking about it and I'm like this is crazy how how famous they feel really which is which is lovely um and they actually feel as if they're making a difference and one of them says to me the other day was like how how is why <laughs> why are people being so kind and I was like, well, why wouldn't they? They're like, I but it's just a bunch of young people saying that we want to start something. And I said, well, that's that's enough. People believe in you and they, they want to support you and your voice is being heard. And that doesn't happen often for um, young people in general, but um, these young people, this is potentially the first time where they've been heard um, and they've seen change so quickly as well which is amazing during the the collections um scotland obviously has announced the bill that they'll be giving out free sanitary products which was amazing we were all buzzing our group chat for the class was all singing all dancing there was lots of memes of people dancing and stuff um but it did open up the conversation of when how where and they says we still need to do it we still need to fill that gap and tell this is great that legislation is supporting it, but it's not fast enough and it's well overdue. And how are people going to access it? And they were saying, oh, will it be on prescription? And will it be you need to go to a special place and line up and be embarrassed about it? And all these conversations. And it was just amazing. They were like, that's brilliant. And this has been passed and that this is going to be a step in the right direction but we still need to fill, fill that gap and kind of support people. And I was like, this is true community development. This is, this is it, like, this is grassroots. This is, oh, it was just, 
oh, it, was, it was amazing. And you can see these sparks flying between them, having conversations like, right, well, if we do that, then this will impact this. And why don't we make a bag that for somebody that's really, really in need gets, and then we'll make a bag that somebody is in need because everybody's entitled uh, to it, but maybe less. So when they come to the event, you and your pal don't notice that you don't have a bag and your friends get a bag or, do you know what I mean? And would you say it's the luck of the draw? Um, and they were having all these conversations about that. And I was like, this is amazing. So we've made special bags as well. So we've got your variation of um, bags, but even the lesser bags, if you would like to call it, um, are still, that's, that was a lesser bag that I showed you. So <laughs> you can imagine. Um, and then we've got special bags that have got um, some Christmas gifts in them and uh, some extra wee items as well um, and then they've got like a wee uh, another somebody donated bags for us because they didn't know about the canvas bags and they were like oh should we use these instead and then one of them people were like why don't we give that as a PE kit bag like a school bag and I was like oh my god yes like Duh, like, of course, and we would never have thought about that because we don't have to carry a PE kit to school and, um, and all the constraints of PE and wearing clothes um, for PE in school just now during COVID as well because there is a, um, there's like issues and rules and stuff like that and it's quite good for the two schools, so St Margaret Mary's and Castmuck High to um, compare what is happening in both of the schools and what rules are happening and what would benefit each school, which is brilliant. It's been really good. Amazing. And I'm actually really excited to hear what this group is going to be doing next. Um, can you tell us a wee bit more about that? Um, their group project in HIC. Have they got any ideas? Or any plug in. <laughs> yes, so um, they are inviting local um, MSPs and MPs coming. So we've also had monetary donations from the local councils and MPs, which has been amazing because they were saying, use the side what goes in the bag, you know, use our young people, use the side. So they gave us money and um, it was really good because the young people were like, right, let's, we're missing conditioner for the bags. <laughs> and since we're giving lots of sanitary products to those girls, let's buy mouthwash for the boys. And then we need some gender neutral bags. So then there's kind of ticking all the boxes for everybody's needs. So they've been invited to their, their group work project. And I would hope that you'd be able to come along, uh, if not in person, but maybe virtually. Um, and the, the, the head teachers uh, are coming along, they always come along to the events and the local um, community police and the campus cops uh, normally come and they invite people that are in power and they're potentially going to have change. And they quite like to um, be quite shocking normally. Um, and they will always get a few gobsmacked looks, um, which is just, genius some of the things that they come at me I won't tell you because I don't want to spoil the surprise um but some of the information that they they share and how realistic they put it um it's one of the groups that's they're chatting about money and they've got um monopoly money and um they're taking it off you and then you're like what are you left with nothing but you're hungry and you've not washed and you've not, do you know what I mean? Like all these things. Um, and it's, it's just brilliant to see how, how confident the full classes came and how they all have taken it on as a project together, as well as it like it's starting off as somebody saying, oh, I'll take that on as my group work project. I'll, I want to continue this. It's became a full class thing and it's became the full complex thing. <laughs> um, and it's been brilliant. And we've got lots of partners in the community who um, aren't working, they're working from home. And they've all like made an effort to come 
in and come and donate or send money or things like that um and the young people are like I can't believe people that aren't even like at work are doing this um so it's been brilliant it's been it's been lovely to see them the action in place so quickly um and then seeing them being excited by it all really which has been brilliant yeah, it just sounds truly amazing and what an experience for them young people just to get really involved in their communities. And it sounds like this is just the start of it for them. Um, Kirsty, thank you so much. You sound like you're doing a fantastic job with them. And thank you for joining me today and just telling us all about it. Um, and please keep in touch. Oh, definitely, definitely. This is just the start, Sarah Jane. You will be involved. You will be here. I might even get you a wee uh, pair of gloves and an apron and you'll be making some bags. <laughs> um, it's it's brilliant. And I'll share some pictures of the event tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be the best Christmas market. George Square might be cancelled, but we are not. <laughs> um, it's going to be brilliant. And thank you so much for um, SCDS's donations as well. They honestly, they have tipped us over the edge and have allowed us to make 200, 200 um, sanitary bag, uh, hygiene packs. And that's 200 of those canvas bags. So that's 200 young people that are going to benefit um, and it's, it's just lovely. It's lovely to see everybody coming together and working hard and uh, everybody's going to benefit from it. And we've made um, some extra wee special bags for the for the class as well, because obviously they be they need to benefit from it as well, which is a full cycle. You give to get and um, there's a few of them that are working part time and they've used their part time wages to come and buy stuff. And it's lovely. It's really, really nice to see that they, they want to help and I do like all right so when we leave school and this is still a hygiene bank can we still help in that and I'm like of course <laughs> like this is your legacy <laughs> so definitely it's going to be a thing we just need to figure out the restrictions how logistically we're going to work it so at first we're going to have it um where you just email me um and you can come and get um products or whatever that you need um and then hopefully we'll be able to have a service of drop-in when things are kind of a bit more relaxed um and it's it's benefiting more than just the young people it's definitely the households um which has been really good and if you get any christmas gifts that you don't like <laughs> we all have like a granny that buys us something that's a wee bit um, no your perfume that you like anymore it's no it's the perfume you liked when you were 12 but no anymore um keep it please keep it keep it and um donate it to the hygiene bank because we're going to continue this all the time and hopefully we'll have another big drive at summer i think and we'll make it a continual thing but big drives at christmas and summer i think because they're the the big turning points um for you to get your kind of toiletries really Oh, Kirsty, I could sit and listen to you all day about this group. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. And I'll be sharing how people can get in touch and donate as well. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>